You guys like the shirt? This is, for those of you that don't know, this is Coco, our dog. And my little sister Mallory, actually for Christmas, got my whole family matching t-shirts with their dog's face printed on them. So this is Coco, and we always say like, wow, when she does something good. So it says wow, I don't know if you can see it, it says wow underneath, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram or Taylor on Instagram, you'll know that we bought a new lens and we went and picked it up yesterday and I thought I'd do a little unboxing video for you guys. My first impression, there's not many videos out there on this lens for one reason and we'll get into that. I figure I'd just go ahead and do just an unboxing, a first impression, show you what you get with it, why I went with this specific lens and I'm not going to do a, a review on it right now or anything obviously because I've had it for one night. I haven't even had the chance to get out and really take pictures with it yet. Planning on doing that tonight. And then I will, you know, after a few months, after we do some traveling with it, I'm going to upload a review to tell you guys what I think, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. That way you know where to put your hard-earned money. So, drum roll. The lens that I got, my newest lens, and it completes my, what they call the holy trinity of lenses, is the Sony 12-24 2.8 G Master lens. So this is the final lens I needed to complete the Holy Trinity, which is usually it's, it's a combination of zoom lenses that covers all of the major focal lengths. And it used to be a 16 to 35, a 24 to 70, and a 70 to 200 is what they call the Holy Trinity. And Sony changed the game with that. So Sony introduced the first ultra wide zoom lens with the capability of having a, a fixed aperture of 2.8. It is unbelievable. So now i have the sony 12 24 2.8 ultra wide zoom i've got the 24 to 70 2.8 g master and i also have the 70 to 200 g master so that is what they call the holy trinity of lenses i'm super pumped to have it um sorry guys it's uh it's early in the morning and my work email is going crazy we do we do have full-time jobs which we'll do another video about that later and kind of tell you guys what we do but where was i I don't know. I forgot. Oh, the Holy Trinity of lenses. So now I have the, the 12 to 24, I've got the 24 to 70, and I've got the 70 to 200, all with a fixed aperture of 2.8. This is going to be my do everything kit. It's going to be my travel kit. It's going to cover everything I need from landscapes, you know, astrophotography, um, ultra wide stuff at 12 millimeters, all the way up to getting some really solid compression at 200 millimeters. And uh, I'm super excited to have it. The Sony 12 to 24. 2.8 G Master. I've had my eye on this lens for a long time, ever since I first released it. Um, however, because it's so expensive, there's not many of them out there, and there it's hard to get a good opinion on this lens because it's just not out there. there there's not many of them. It, it's a specific type of photographer to buy this lens. Really, only professionals that are doing landscape photography or architecture or real estate photography need this lens i don't do any of those things however i am hoping to start doing some you know real estate photography down the road as like a little side deal but i i love the look of a wide angled picture i think it's so cool i've always loved how gopro pictures turn out they always look super cool so i'm so happy to get this and i can't wait to go shoot it tonight uh, we're gonna go play with it and like i said we'll do a, a review and um maybe a POV video uh, of us taking pictures with this lens. But once you open the box, it comes in the standard Sony G Master box. Nothing special about it. When you open the box, it comes with the carry case that all the G Master lenses come with. It, it's nice, but honestly, I'm, I'm taking this out. I just ordered the Peter McKinnon backpack. So as soon as that gets here, I'll do an unboxing video for that as well. But this, usually I, I get this case and I just throw it in the closet. I have cases that my lenses go straight into. But it is nice if you ever want to carry just this lens around travel, but just this lens to put this in this case. Once you open it, I've already opened this lens, of course. But once you open it, the lens does come in a bubble wrap. Of course, who keeps bubble wrap though? Just throw it away. Here she is. So initial impressions with the 12 to 24. It's smaller than I thought. So some of the reviews that I watch and videos I watch said that it is, it's a very big lens. And in, in reality, it's it's not as big as I thought. Of course, I'm used to only shooting with zoom lenses. I don't ever shoot with hardly, hardly ever shoot with any of the smaller prime lenses. So I would say out of the box, it feels smaller than the 24 to 70 G Master, whereas actually lengthwise, height-wise, 
they're the same. It's a, it's a bit more skinny than the 12 to 20 or the 24 to 70 G Master, but it feels really good. You can tell it's just high quality. Um, so of course it's got the, this little slider, the, the autofocus, manual focus on the lens. It's got the fixed customizable button on the lens that you can set to whatever you want. It's got the, the, the actual zoom ring. It feels very smooth. It feels very light, very easy to turn. Man, I'm super pumped to have it. So the lens cover on this lens actually slides over the lens, whereas you know most lens covers go inside of the of the actual lens. This one slides over for one particular reason, and it is one of the downfalls of this lens. So this lens has a bulging, whatever you want to call it, lens. Because it is a super wide angle, you have to have that. So you're not able to use an ND filter on the front with this lens. You only can use one on the back and Sony. Uh, where the lens connects to the camera actually included a cutout for an ND filter to go in the back So it's just a small inconvenience having to take it off and put an ND filter on the back right there But nothing I would say to keep you from buying this lens, right? So it does have a built-in hood to protect that huge Bulb that huge piece of glass. That's probably you know an arm and a leg to replace um, Which I do like I do like that the that the hood is built in it's going to keep you from accidentally touching knocking you know hurting the glass hopefully right if you're careful with it I don't I I guess my email's still going off dang my nose is itching stop it stop it <laughs> so the hood is built into to the the lens which I like um, it's going to keep you from knocking hurting the glass uh, the ND filter is really the only downside of this lens that and the price but the fact that you can't so a lot of my ND filters are for the front of the lens of course that's the normal thing so I'm not going to be able to use uh, any of those on this lens i'm gonna have to go by the nd filters actually go to the back of the camera or the back of the lens but that's no big deal to me like i said it's just one small you know sacrifice for this amazing lens so how much is this lens it is by far the most expensive lens i own it might be the most expensive lens i ever own unless i start doing photography full-time for a full-time job but this lens right here is three thousand dollars it is much more expensive than any other G Master. It's really much more, it's more expensive than, except for maybe a, a fixed prime 200 millimeter or one of those, you know, humongous, you know, 600 millimeter uh, zoom lens. It's, it's probably the most expensive one out there. And this is why you don't see a lot of them on the market. I did my best to find one cheaper, find one at some sort of discount. Maybe somebody got it, didn't like it, was trying to sell it used, and I couldn't. Could not find anything cheaper. Everything was $29.99. So I finally just said, screw it. Paid the three thousand dollars, got the lens, and you know, buy one's proud one's right. I'm super excited. I'm so happy we did it. So when we travel and take travel photos, this is probably going to be my main lens I go to because it just makes everything so much bigger. Uh, I, I watched one guy on YouTube, Pierre Lambert, and he he described it pretty pretty accurately. It, it looks like somebody grabbed your eyelids and just stretched them out and opened them up and just opened the world to you. It's such a different perspective through this lens. It's just unbelievable. It makes even things that don't feel grand just look huge and look so big and it's it's very cool you know i feel like sony's just showing off by being able to do this nobody else has done it yet and i can't wait to get out and go play with it and shoot with it and put pictures on my instagram and show you guys what this lens can really do so who is this lens for well not for everybody one if you have the money laying around if you have three thousand dollars of disposable cash i highly recommend it it is it is so cool, it is very fun to use. However, if you're on a budget, I understand you might not be able to get this one. They do have a 12 to 24 F4 that is like half the price. However, the technology wasn't as good when they released that lens and I did read some reviews of distortion in the corners of the lens because it is an ultra wide angle. Um, it's not as sharp and as crisp and you do get you know the lines that start to curve in, uh, some vignetting going on in the corner of the photos, however, I've played with this one a tiny bit just in the backyard around the house and you get none of that with this lens. It is tack sharp. It is, I don't know how they did it. However, I'm not complaining. It is just unbelievable. So like I said, if you follow us on Instagram, I'm going to go out and take some legit pictures tonight with it. I'm going to post them on my Instagram. And I, I think after a few months of running around with this lens, I'm going to post a review uh, uh, on it. But you know, I have no you know right to post a review on it when I haven't really tested it out and used it to its full potential yet but but yeah drop a comment below if you want me to do a review video on this lens or a pov video show you guys what it what it's really like like i said i'm not a full-time photographer it's 
you're going to get my honest opinion on this. I spent my hard-earned money on this $3,000, so it wasn't given to me by Sony. I ain't got to send it back. It is mine to keep, and I'm going to give you guys an honest review on it and, uh, yeah, let you know what I think. So don't forget to like this video. What all do you have to do? I'm new to YouTube, right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment below. Don't forget we're having a giveaway. Once we hit 250 subscribers, we're giving away an Amazon gift card that you can use towards this lens. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel for a chance to win that. And I will catch you guys on the next video. This is what the, the kids do nowadays. Uh, I don't know, like a Nike check? I don't know. Later. <laughs>